Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create linked server in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. Sometimes we have no other choice but to create linked server. The reason I'm saying that I'm not a big fan of linked servers. Uh, but uh, if you're using synonym and trying to access the remote uh, uh, objects of another SQL server, then you can you have to create the link server. And also, if you're trying to um, if you're using your T SQL, if you're writing code in T SQL and you're trying to access uh, the remote um, resources of SQL Server. Uh, such as table store procedure you have to create a link server you you cannot do it without link server but my recommended way that if you wanted to do that please create SSIS package because there you don't have to create link servers you can define your sources and destination multiple times in uh, integration services but that's my recommended way but uh, uh, just in case that if you have to create a link server how to create a link server I'm going to show you in this video so we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is my SQL server T tech brother client is my server SQL mirror is my instance name and uh, in order to create link server you need to expand your uh, instance and go to uh, server objects if you expand server objects you will see a linked server right here if you have more link server already it'll uh, appear right here but we're gonna in order to create link server new link server we're gonna go ahead and right click on link server click on new link server now first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to uh, name your link server which I'm going to do is prod and if you are there are a couple ways you could do that if you're connecting from this SQL Server instance to another SQL Server instance the best way to create a link server is click on SQL Server right here and all these choices will be gone and you have to provide link server basic basically the name of the remote server instance in my case is te uh, tech brothers sql backslash sql prod this is my sql server instance another sql server instance that is um, uh, basically uh, installed on tech brothers sql server so i'm trying to access uh, all the databases or whatever the databases i'm trying to access on this server so uh, i need to provide uh, the fully qualified the server name and the instance name in my linked name server so this is one way that you can do it do that let's go ahead and do this first and then we're going to go ahead and uh, um, basically uh, do the uh, other data sources option so I'm going to go ahead and um, click on security this is very very important uh, up here uh, you have an option local server login to remote uh, uh, a server login mapping if you wanted to if you have permission of uh, impersonate uh, the logins local logins with the remote logins and remote login password you can add it here and click on not be made and that would access your remote SQL server uh, resources but we're going to do the best way my recommended way is uh, uh, when you create a link server please have a SQL server uh, uh, authentication user and use that particular user right here be made with using security context because it's much more secure so in my case I do have a, a SQL server remote log login this login needs to have access on the remote SQL server so in my case I have a DB manager and I'm going to provide the password right here So this is the password that this will connect to the remote server. So there are some server options. Most of the time you do not need to touch these uh, server options, but if you need to uh, change the server options such as data access, RPC, RPC out, all these options are available for you. So we're gonna go ahead and click on general and click okay. And it's going to tell us that uh, 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 tech brothers sql sql prd already exist and i'm going to show you i just wanted to reproduce this that if the sql server if you click on sql server and that sql server already exists doesn't matter what security context it is under it's not going to let you create another link server with the same name so if we're if we cancel this 
and expand our um, link server you can see uh, TBS SQL Server SQL prod is already existed and this database this uh, SQL Server user that I use to connect with if you go to the properties and go to the security you will see exactly the same thing DB manager and the password and up here I have clicked on SQL Server and given the name and server options I have not touched any of them so just so that you know that uh, this is how you create it so once you create that you can expand this and click on catalogs this catalog will depend on the permission of this user right here whatever the access this user have how many databases access of this user has this will appear in catalogs catalogs means the databases in this context so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this this is my sysadmin on the other uh, my remote server so if I click on catalogs it should show me all the databases that reside on SQL PROD instance in TBS SQL server so we're gonna go ahead and expand that as you can see I can see all the databases on that server so what I'm going to do right now is leave this here and we're going to go ahead and cover the other option click on uh, uh, new on link server and I'm going to name this link server PROD and we're going to use other data sources let's look at the providers right here is Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL server and other options we have a native client 11.0 and then we have ODBC right here and we have analysis services if you wanted to connect to analysis services and you wanted to create a link server to analysis services you can use this if you have an ODBC connection uh, already made which I'm gonna show you real quick up here these are the ODBC 32 and th this is ODBC uh, 64 if you have created any one of them and you wanted to use that in your link server you can go ahead and select or OLE or, or DB uh, ODBC driver so we're gonna go ahead and keep the SQL server user right here uh, Microsoft OLEDB provider SQL server Pro, uh, product name um, if you, you basically you can leave this alone the data source is much more important data source is network name of SQL server that means you need to provide the SQL server fully qualified a server and instance name in my case is TBS SQL backslash SQL PROD so this is uh, uh, my TBS SQL server this is my data source and this is the string if you wanted to basically create a string um, and put that here which will cover this data source and all that catalog and everything all the information you can put that here but uh, I would just go ahead and put the data source here if you know what database uh, this the user that you're going to configure that you wanted to access you can put right here I'm going to go ahead and do sales orders I'm going to go ahead and connect with sales orders uh, the way that my permissions right now uh, is that uh, I am sysadmin the user I'm using to create this link server I'm sysadmin so it's going to give me all the databases basically but there would be a time when you have a user who has permission to certain databases and not all of the databases and sometimes you have to prov you can you have an option to provide the database name right here so catalog is your database name so let's click on security I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing DB manager and provide the password and I'm going to click OK and as you can see that it has created right here another link server so if we open that it should show us all the databases the reason it is showing us all the databases because that it has um, uh, a sysadmin so let's go ahead and take the sysadmin out and see if we can just uh, access the sales order database so I'm going to go ahead and connect with my SQL prod and I'm going to go ahead and go in the logins and I'm going to go ahead and give you go to user mapping and find sales order right here is db admin up there I'm going to go to uh, server roles and I'm going 
I'm going to take the sysadmin out. So this user now has only access to sales order. So I'm going to disconnect this. So we're going to go ahead and refresh this and click on the catalog. As you can see, now it doesn't have all the permissions on all the databases. It has just the sales orders. So this is how basically you create a, a link server using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these um, right here, uh, the link servers, and load our SQL, T SQL script and create using T SQL script. So I'm going to go ahead and click on file open and we're going to go ahead and create link server. So up here, this is the link server. As you can see, I'm using DB manager and providing the password. These are the server options right here. This is just a T-SQL way to basically create a SQL Server. I'm using basically the SQL Server option. If you saw that, I'm not using the other provider in this particular script, but if you need to use other provider, you can use the similar script, but uh, you need to pr uh, put a, a product name and all other options that's there. So we're gonna go ahead and execute this. It says it, it already exists and we are not connected with the right database so we're gonna go ahead and control a control C I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go ahead and connect with SQL mirror and let's make sure that we don't have this uh, link server we don't and let's show we are connected with SQL mirror so we're gonna go ahead and execute this as you can see that command completed successfully let's go ahead and refresh that and as you can see that us we are connected with SQL prod and we should be able to access um, the login failed I believe that just because of this when you create using script and you scripted out already created link server right here uh, is the uh, uh, the password is not uh, it will get reset when you uh, uh, run the script so we're gonna go ahead this is for security reasons this is good so we're gonna go ahead right click on this particular server uh, click on security and put the password just one more time anytime you move the link server from one place to another place and if you're using the SQL Server um, authenticated user then it's going to Put the password like this and all you need to do is put the password in here again so all right we're gonna go ahead and refresh that and go to the catalog and now we see that this per this particular user have permission to sales order and we can look at all the tables in sales order so basically this is how you create link server uh, using SQL Server Management Graphic User Interface and T-SQL Script and we saw two options using connecting directly to SQL Server and using other uh, providers. I hope this video helps.